Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to my mom's house. It's uh, another cat sitting day here, so I thought we could pass the time by reading a YouTube comment. So uh, I got a nice comment today on a video from about a year ago, and it's a video called You Can't Build a Browser, in which I talk about some article that's going around the web at the time uh, about how the W3C specifications are outrageously out of control and you couldn't possibly build a new browser based on these specs uh, and blah 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 blah. Anyway, that's the context of the video. So uh, in this comment, Ein Anton writes, Hey, I just wanted to say you are a great inspiration for myself. It's awesome to see the progress made in the last year. And it's incredible to see your honesty about all the problems you encounter, not just directly code related. It seems like you are in a more comfortable state now compared to when you were when you recorded this video. I really hope you always find a way back to your healthy self. I don't know how best to say this, but your personality is really inspiring, and seeing you become more popular over time is just awesome. Your videos give me a lot of strength to just give in to an idea and try to implement it, even when the task at hand seems impossible. As we say in Germany, or at least I say in Germany, climbing even the biggest mountain is done step by step. Don't be dissuaded by others telling you it can't be done. Take it one step at a time. Keep up the amazing work. So thank you very much, Ein Anton, for this comment. I, I love it. Um, really hit me in the heart. Uh, and uh, um, there are so many things I want to respond to here. So uh, I went and I watched the video that he commented on. And it was really strange because I don't remember feeling that sad a year ago, but in the video I seem really, really sad. Um, and it was indeed a huge difference to, to how I feel today, uh, at least based on that video. So it was, it was very strange, very interesting to see that. Um, and um, I thought we could talk a bit about the browser because when I made that video, the browser was like a couple of weeks old. I had just started working on it and um, I was full of excitement, uh, hubris uh, and uh, energy around the whole thing, uh, which, you know, was nice and useful. Um, and I haven't really changed my mind about anything I said in the video. It's just that the energy has shifted around a lot. But uh, anyway, um, starting the browser in Serenity was a, was a strange decision because originally I think I kind of didn't want to deal with a browser. Um, it was, it was this thing that I kept thinking about, um, about doing maybe someday, but, um, my last job in big tech was working on browsers and I did that for so many years that I felt like, ah, I don't want to go back to building more browser stuff. Um, but then there was, there was sort of all this, um, stars were aligning in this interesting way that I kept seeing people talking about how you can't build a browser. And then these articles or whatever it was came out and people were memeing about it on Hacker News and lobsters and whatever. Um, and somehow, um, the way I respond to that type of energy is to just really want to show people that this is silly. Of course you can do it. It's not too complicated. You're just, um, uh, like mythologizing something that is, um, that humans have done and humans can do again. Right. Uh, so that sort of, that sort of energy pushed me over the edge to start doing a browser anyway. And I'm, I'm glad that I did because, you know, the browser in Serenity is still, going on and it's been developing uh, really a lot over the last year since I made that video. Mm. And uh, a bunch of people have picked it up and worked on it a lot as well, which is my favorite thing. So um, I think um, one of the things I felt really apprehensive about when I first started building it was that um, while I felt like it wasn't a problem for me to build a browser, uh, I was worried that other people would somehow just be intimidated by all this stupid negative energy about n not it not being possible. 
So I had this thing in the back of my mind chewing at me all the time, like, yeah, yeah, build a browser on JS, but probably nobody's going to join you because they're too scared or something. And um, I kept trying to push this uh, reverse energy outside to, to tell everybody, it's fine, you can build a browser. Um, just come here and join me, uh, help me do this thing. And uh, I don't know, that, that whole thing, uh, it seems to have worked out. Um, I was a bit worried about that at first, to be honest, that it wasn't going to work out and I was going to just, um, you know, take on this this task of building it all by myself and, and everybody would just watch, <laughs> stand and watch me do it. Um, and that would take a very long time to do that all by yourself, but with the help of um, my friends who are working on it now, it's making solid progress, which is so cool. Um, and I guess I want to call out, especially some of the people who have picked up the browser tech in Serenity and um, really sort of made it their home, like uh, Linus especially, it's just become a total master in libjs um and um in libweb there's luke doing lots of awesome stuff and uh recently tim is doing a lot of cool stuff um and there have been a whole bunch of contributors to to libjs and uh, libweb um and um people people sort of drifting in and out and uh it's just I'm so happy that that I was wrong about about people being intimidated by it, um, and I think at some point uh, I kind of I had that initial energy to work on the browser and just keep building it and, and show everybody that you can do it, um, but that with me that kind of energy goes in bursts and. At the end of one of those bursts, or at the end of every one of those bursts, uh, where I would work on the browser for two weeks, do nothing else, um, I would always feel like, okay, I got to do something else for a bit, but am I going to be able to get back to this? I would worry about that every time. <sighs> um, what am I trying to say? I guess I'm just reflecting on how browser development has been going, because I've been drifting in and out of it, but some people sort of work primarily on that now and that's so cool um, because then I don't feel pressured to work on it myself as much um, because you know I want to work on the whole system and and sort of bring everything up try to lift everything so the the tide moves upward uh, and everything gets better and um, and I think um, this development model that we have sort of organically evolved into where um, I just uh, like rapidly build out these um, the scaffolding and then a lot of people come and eventually start building within that scaffolding these really uh, nice things. Um, somehow that just seems to work out really well for this project and I'm very happy about that. Um, Anyway, <laughs> I guess those were just some random thoughts about about browser development in the last year. Um, it is it is still moving forward. Actually, it's, it's I mean it's better than ever. And seeing fixes for uh, Acid two and Acid three going in now. Um, and I think uh, somebody mentioned on IRC, uh, Luke has been working on Acid three. So somebody. Uh, said that we're, our ACID3 score is currently 23, I think. And it was not on IRC, it was on Discord. <laughs> but uh, 23 out of 100 on the ACID3. So that's pretty cool. Uh, nice progress. We were at zero not very long ago. So, um, And let's see. Uh, <laughs> just looking at the comment again. Um, so... This other things you say about like um, how I, I've become more popular over time and I'm an inspiring personality. Um, I'm 
I'm happy with the way things are working out around that because I'm I'm just some guy who writes programs and shares his honest uh, experience on the internet, right? Um, and this helps me so much, just the uh, the act of sharing and um, of like putting myself out here as an honest person, and I don't pretend to be something I'm not. And for me, this is the most therapeutic and cathartic experience imaginable to to do this, um, to to make these videos where I just talk about my thoughts and and just um, reflect and and share random things, and also the videos where I try to share my love for programming and, and um, my uh, excitement about systems development and and all of these things, things that all things that I never had an outlet for uh, in my life until I started this project. I'm very, very happy that it resonates with people. Um, but at the same time, uh, I do have to admit that like popularity is a bit scary to me sometimes because um, it, it is very taxing energy wise. Like I do feel, for example, um, after we've started the Discord server three days ago now, uh, and there's already more than 700 people on there, and I'm getting a lot of messages from people, and it is really awesome that so many people are excited about Serenity OS, and um, I'm really happy to see everybody, um, but it is a bit of an an energy drain, so I do have to learn to manage that. Uh, and but but that that has been something that has been growing slowly as sort of the public profile of Serenity and and this YouTube channel has been growing. So I've been very fortunate that it has been a gradual process. I don't know if I would have handled it so well if it had been more abrupt. I don't know. Um, But, but it's all good, right? Like, uh, it's just sometimes it scares me because of, um, because of these old thinking patterns that I've talked about where um, I used to always be afraid that people would know who I really was um, because I used to hide things and have secrets. But now there's not really any interesting secrets to find out. Um, at least, at least nothing I think is very interesting to anybody. Um, and instead I've sort of chosen to live this life, um, this open life, this public thing. Um, and I think that's what I needed. It's probably not something that would work for everybody, but for me, just the um, complete change from being a secretive, secluded, um, introverted person and just twisting that around and, and doing this totally different thing, um, I think honestly is what has allowed me to stay healthy and to stay on the good path. And, and, um, I'm in a infinitely better place today than I was uh, three years ago, uh, two years ago, a much better place than one year ago, and the future is just looking bright, honestly. Um, so, I guess what you say about even the biggest mountain uh, is climbed step by step certainly applies to me, because um, when I look back, even a year ago on that video that you commented on, I feel like that was so um, long ago, and I can't, I can barely believe that I got from that state of feeling as sad as I apparently felt in that video uh, to where I am today, where everything is, you know, more or less hunky dory. Uh, just a, 
feeling a little bit stressed out about hundreds of, of Discord users uh, chattering uh, all the time, but <laughs> that's, that's at the same time, there, that's like, yes, it's noisy, but it's a lot of fun too. And it's, it's really cool to see all the excitement and all the collaboration going on. So I don't know. Um, but it would be really interesting <laughs> if, uh, if a year from today, I go and watch this video and um, I look back on, on where I am right now and this seems really sad to me and really like, uh, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe I can. Maybe I can get much, much better than this. Who knows? Who knows? Um, anyway, this uh, this was a very introspective episode, but I think I think it's good to talk about these things. Um, and uh, yeah, I am. I'm very, very happy with the way browser development is going. I'm really happy with the way the project is going in general because um, this thing that I talked about in the browser where other people come in and they learn how it works and they start making modifications and eventually they end up making it their own and they take ownership of parts of Serenity. I love seeing that and that's happening not just in the browser but in other parts as well. Um, you know, there are large parts of the kernel where um, Liav, for example, is, is working on um, things. And uh, in the um, Hack Studio world, there's Itamar building a C++ parser and uh, accompanying UI features and all kinds of stuff. Uh, and there are many examples of, of different parts of Serenity where somebody takes ownership. Um, and of course, Ali, who, who makes all kinds of things like TLS library and a shell and uh, he makes so many things, <laughs> but um, it's, it's something that makes me very happy. Um, I'm glad that I don't have to do this by myself anymore. I guess I, I didn't have to do it by myself for a long time, but I think I was always a little bit afraid that, um, that people would like be amused for a moment and then disappear and it would be I would be all alone again and I think I was I was fine with that I was sort of resigned to the idea that that's how it was going to be uh, but that's not really how it's playing out it's more like now more and more people just get interested and they it seems that people come to feel ownership of the project or of components of the project um, themselves, which is so cool. Um, anyway, I mean, this this is developing situation, so I don't have uh, the most the most thought through comments on it. But it is something that I like to think about, and something that makes me immensely happy to get to be part of something as cool as this. So, thank you very much, I guess, to everybody um, who's been working on it together with me. Uh, and to everybody who's been watching the videos, uh, and to everybody watching now, I'm, I'm so grateful for all of this company on this strange journey. Um, because it's one that I began alone, but it's looking increasingly unlikely that I will never be alone on this journey again. So that's, that's just so cool. It's just, it's just so cool. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. So thank you very much for hanging out with me here for a moment. And uh, thank you again, Ein Anton, for the comment. Um, and I will see you, I guess, everybody in the next video. So bye. And of course, a special appearance by Kiara. Hello.